everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got one more pretty bird card for you today. I'm gonna to show you how to make these lovely little bird houses. Um, we're using pretty birds on my blog this week. I've got a total of four projects for you, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back and check them out, as well as the free PDF that goes along with these projects. Um, the sentiment that I'm using is from Go To Greetings. It's a lovely set, um, perfect for lots of occasions. All right, let's start with our bird houses. We're going to emboss them in gold and copper. And we've got this new embossing um, accessory kit. It comes with your embossing buddy, which you really wanna use right off the bat to remove any static cling from your paper. Then I'm going to get my stamp back on the block <laughs> and I'm going to stamp it in Versamark one time on this side first okay now bring over your little um your little plate here your little catch-all and we're going to sprinkle that copper right on there and if you can get it back in the the pot good job if not that's what this little well is for and then you unscrew it and get all your powder back to where it goes through that little funnel all right now we've got that one now we're going to do one on the other side same thing and we'll do it over here now that embossing buddy removed all of the static which will keep the little embossing powder granules from sticking where they're not supposed to stick. All right, let's see how we did. Very good. All right, now I will clean the rest of that up later, but I wanna show you, I do have a few. Well, let's bring this back because it looks like maybe we didn't go all the way to the top of the chain. There we go. But can you see how there's some little granules sticking here take your brush and just brush those away and if you're like me you might brush away what you want to have there so do it again and just be a little more careful there we go all right next grab your heat tool and turn it on and that's going to make these bird houses nice and shiny this little tool here is to help you hold it so that your fingers aren't close to the heat all right you'll know that your embossing powder has cured when it is nice and shiny you want to kind of move your paper around so you can see if there's any dull spaces left now we're going to also emboss the sentiment and um, we want to put it on one end of our, let's see how I want to do this. We're gonna put it on one end of our, uh, one of our strips of Coastal Cabana. So, so that I make sure I get it exactly where it's supposed to be, I'm gonna take my Stamparatus and get it lined up, all right? I'm gonna set that down, make it nice and centered. And let's see, will we get it perfectly? I think we did. So let's bring back over our gold embossing powder and see how we did. Perfect. I didn't use the embossing buddy, I forgot. All right, now we're gonna heat emboss that. And we'll be ready to die cut. All right, bring over your cut and emboss machine, and we've got a die for this beautiful bird house or bird cage, I should say. And we're gonna put that right there. And you can look through, it's kind of hard to see this way, but when you line it up, you can see the chain up there. If it's off centered, you won't be able to see it, but you can line it up like that and get it nice and straight. And I like to take a little bit of post-it tape, especially when I've heat embossed, your paper's gonna be a little bit curled. So we wanna get that nice 
and centered. We're also going to cut out this little bird right here. All right, let's run that through. We've got a cling on flower, don't we? All right, there's one bird cage and one bird. Let's get our other bird cage. Looks like we had a few granules hanging on right there that I didn't even notice. Good thing we're cutting it out so it won't matter. Okay, so now we've got all of our pieces. Let's make that fun striped background. I've got a bunch of coastal cabana strips and I'm going to use my grid paper to help me line this up. Okay, so I like to take just a little bit of adhesive, just a little like that, to stick it down to my grid paper. And you want to line it up with the corners of the, the grid. And we're going to start at the bottom. All right, and I'm just going to go right across the bottom, making sure that I am lining up with the edge. Okay, now we'll skip a quarter inch and do the next one. I make them longer um, so that I can trim them off because if I don't, I'll make them too short. <laughs> you can deal with too long, but you can't deal with too short. All right, let's see, let's do another one right there. One more. I might not have enough. I might need one more. Now this one is important. This is our sentiment. So I'm gonna make sure that I get that over here on the side like that. And then we do need one more. So let me, I have another one right here. And this one is actually gonna be, we're gonna trim this one off. It's gonna be too wide right there. All right, so now pick this up, grab your trimmer, and let's start trimming off all of those edges. All right, so get it lined up. Make sure we got close enough, yep. Now this one's gonna be tricky because it has adhesive on it. But I think we can get it right in there. Perfect. And then one more. Beautiful. All right, so there is our piece, our striped piece. So I have, um, let's put all the pieces on and then we'll put it on the, um, the card base. Let's get our bird out. I'm gonna use dimensionals on both of these bird houses. Top and bottom. All right, so this one I'm gonna start, no, let's do the copper one first. This one up here, like that. And then we'll have this one hanging down like that. All right, now I have cut out some little flowers. These are from the hydrangea dies. And we're just gonna put a little bit of glue right here and here, and then in the opposite. Actually, we're not gonna do one right there. Let's just do this corner. All right, and then we're just gonna set these flowers on there. I kinda like to take them and um, curl those petals up a little bit. Give it a little bit of dimension. Set that one right there. And then we'll do two more over here. Like that. Okay. Now, last but not least, I have these new beautiful flower adhesive back trinkets. And we're going to just put on a couple of them. One here. And, well, my putty needs to be fixed. And the one right there. All right. Now, 
we're just going to take our card base and adhere this down flat on our card base. So I'm just going to take my stamp and seal and put that right there. Now, have we forgotten something? We have. We have forgotten the most important thing, the little bird. So just one little dimensional on him and we'll put him or her right there. And there you have it. Now these guys are sticking up. So what you can do is just take a glue dot. I like to kind of fold the glue dot in half, put it right behind there like that. And let's do this one, fold the glue dot in half and stick it right there. All right, you guys, there you have it. Make sure you hop back by my blog. I've got a free PDF as well as two other Pretty Bird projects and um, that free PDF with the dimensions and supply list. Uh, thanks, everybody. Let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.